Checking here at the Upper Peninsula of Michigan at the Kingsford Yeti Cup, and I'm uh, checking in with uh, Morbots, Team uh, 13598, coming out of Escanaba, Michigan. They got a pretty cool robot here. I'm here with Elizabeth and Dawson. We're going to check out some of the cool capabilities on the robot. We got a cool X drive, four bar lift, a cool intake mechanism, turret, and more coming up on Behind the Bot. Uh, so I want to start out, uh, Elizabeth, here. Uh, what do you want to tell us first about on your robot? Okay, so our robot has a four bar mechanism that can go up and down pretty easily and it also has a grab that can have a very sturdy grab on a block. Let's take a look and see how it grabs one of those blocks. And you mind telling me a little bit, how did you decide on doing that type of four bar and how did you decide on wanting to grab the block that we, way? We decided on a four bar because initially we were going to do a lift, like an elevator, but it wouldn't work out well. So we decided to try this and it worked out really great. And the grabbing mechanism is really sturdy and it's a lot sturdier than our last one. So. Yeah, and it's moving around uh, really well. Uh, Dawson, what do you want to tell me about on this cool bot here? Our X drive that we have today is like a shape of an X and it can go ev every direction, 360, forward, backwards, side to side, any direction you want. Um, we also have a turret today, which shows, which we have right now, which can go 270 degrees, which because we limit it, limited it instead of having 360 degrees, we had two, 270. And it can, and what we have is two, um, two motors on the side, so we have more torque to our robot, so it can lift up bricks when we need to. So when you guys looked at the Skystone Challenge, uh, what were some of the difficulties you had that you kind of had to work through looking at this challenge? What was kind of the hard parts for you to overcome? So looking at the Skyblock Challenge, obviously you have to pick up a block and carry it and put it on a platform. So we had to figure out a very sturdy lift and a very quick way to move it fast because it's very quick, two minutes, 30 seconds. So we had to figure out a way to be fast and maneuverable and quick and easy. So we came up with this lift because it's sturdy and it's quick and it works out well for us. So. And lastly, what I want to follow up with is you guys have uh, started to go through season. I know this is your first main competition that you're at here. What are you starting to learn in regards to the, St the Skystone game? What is maybe the meta to the game? Uh, and what do you think you're going to keep improving throughout the season? Um, what I've seen so far is that you usually have one robot that's either grabbing stones and bring it, bring it to you and have one person stacking the stones, um, keep stacking and keep putting on the foundation. Well, more bots appreciate the time. Uh, good luck here, of course, at this event and, of course, through the rest of the competition season. Can't wait to see how your robot evolves over time. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.